Welcome back to Studio 701. A movie made in North Dakota tells the true story of some incredible events that happened in western North Dakota in 1931. Here's just a short clip from the trailer of the crime thriller End of the Rope. It wasn't at the county commission vote last night either. Frankly, I'm a little concerned. When's the last time you saw Albert? No, I don't really make regular. Any of the havens? Anywhere? Albert's not here. He's so been out of shape about the havens. A lot of us are. What's the call, CA? And Daniel Belinsky is the founder of Canticle Productions, joins us now. Daniel, I mean, that trailer kind of gives you chills. And you think, wow, that was made here in North Dakota. Fantastic. Mm -hmm, look at you. the trailer. Just a short look at the trailer, by the mm -hmm. way. It goes on a little bit longer. So tell us the story behind uh, the story of the movie. Sure. Uh, I was... Uh I was connected with a, a historian and lawyer named Dennis Johnson who lived up in Watford City. He's since passed away, but he had written a book called End of the Rope, recounting um, the, the events of this story. And so um, he and I hit it off and we ended up working together adapting his short history into this uh, feature length film. But it's a story that a lot of people up in Watford City especially have a personal connection to. So their grandparents or their great grandparents were actually involved in the events of the story. So when we were doing all the initial you know, fundraising events and, um, and awareness events up there, um, there were a lot of people who came up to me afterwards and said, you know, my grandfather was involved that night. I'm going to tell you something that nobody ever told, that I never told to anybody else <laughs> before. And they would tell me that thing. And then somebody else would come up and say, my grandfather was involved. And I'm going to tell you something I never told anyone else. And then those two stories would flatly contradict each other. And so, <laughs> uh, it, was, it was really interesting to tell a story that, you know, it, the, the facts, it was, it was so covered up for such a long period of time. And right now feels like kind of a safe time and a, and a fun time to tell the story. Yeah, and I, I love hearing that. It's so funny to hear how stories have been passed down throughout time and how maybe yeah. they don't all line up. Mm -hmm. But what have you seen? This is playing right now in theaters across North Dakota. Mm -hmm. What have you seen as far as the responses, the reaction from people so far? Yeah, well, we started in Watford City. Um, we've sold out almost all of the screenings that we've had, and so it's been very well received. A lot of people are aware of it. A lot of people from the state were just involved in the production or their friends were cousins were were, and so um, there's been a lot of great buzz about it. Um, but uh, yeah, up in Watford City, we started there, and I was probably no, most nervous about that screening because there were so many people who had that personal connection, who were either investing in the project or their, you know, their ancestors were involved in the story. But it, it went over very well, and um, I think it's kind of a tricky story to tell. Um, because because it's true and because um, it, it, it asks some kind of tough moral questions in, in a way. It, it's a tough subject matter. Um, but uh, hopefully we handled it in such a way that um, at least nobody's been, n nobody's been angry at me so far. <laughs> um, do you have some upcoming shows? Can you let us in on what the, your schedule looks like for... Yeah, absolutely. We'll be in uh, Williston tonight and we'll be in Minot tomorrow. We've sold out all of those screenings um, already. Uh, and then we'll be in Bismarck uh, next week on April 21st and 22nd. Um, and then the film will run as part of the normal programming at the Grand Theater after that. So if you don't catch the, the red carpet premieres, we'll, we'll have cast and crew there and uh, behind the scenes looks and props and costumes and all that. Uh, but if you're not able to catch the red carpet premieres, you can go to the, uh, you can go to the Grand and see it uh, anytime after. So you mentioned the interactive piece of the red carpet, which mm -hmm. is kind of fun. Uh, yeah. Maybe getting to talk to yourself or some of the actors and what yeah. it was like behind the scenes. What would mm -hmm. you say it was like behind the scenes? I mean, <laughs> uh, give us the scoop here. You know, how long did this entire production take? Let's start there. Sure. Well, I first met Dennis in fall of 2019, and here we are in um, spring of 2023, so that can put things in perspective. Uh, we shot for a month, uh, one week in Burley County and three weeks in McKenzie County. Um, we had a crew of anywhere from 40 to 50 depending on the day uh, and um, we had over a hundred casting cast members including extras a lot of people from North Dakota the majority of the casting crew were from North Dakota although we brought in some industry pros just from across the country um, it went really smooth 
um, we, we had a very blessed production, I feel like, um, because there were so many moving pieces. We burned a building down, we built an entire town in the middle of an alfalfa field. We had guns and horses, we had over 30 pre-1931 vintage cars on set. Uh, we had hundreds of extras. There were just so many moving pieces, so many things that can go wrong, <laughs> but well. uh, we were lucky. I think it all pays off, as you can see in the trailer. It's so professionally done and just looks amazing. And you see um, sites in North Dakota. Mm -hmm. You know, you see some of the Badlands, I think, and then uh, There's the bridge. Fairview Bridge. Yes. Fairview Bridge and Tunnel. That's such a cool location mm -hmm. up in um, Cartwright, North Dakota, right on the border uh, with Montana, the Yellowstone River right there. Mm -hmm. That was a very, very cool location. Well, well, it looks like a great movie. I'm personally looking forward to seeing it. So thank, thank you so much for putting it together. And thanks for being with us today, Daniel. Yeah, thanks for having me. Thank you. you. All right, for tickets and showtimes, go to endoftheropefilm.com.